So for the younger generation, I have three pieces of advice. Uh, the first is to just start somewhere. Your career is going to be long. You're going to be working for 40, 50, maybe even 60 years. So just get started and you'll figure it out along the way. Uh, the second piece is to be a little bit patient. You know, I also am super excited to, to move up the ladder and get into more projects. But sometimes you just need to be a bit patient and wait for things to come. Um, we all want to be the decision maker or the speaker in the room, but we can just, we, sometimes you have to wait for it. Um, and the third thing was, don't be afraid to take on the, the tough work and the work that no, no one else wants to do. Sometimes you always want to be involved in what the exciting project is off the bat, but if you prove yourself as someone who is diligent, hardworking, can be relied upon, and is willing to do the, the dirty, not that glamorous work, that means when that exciting project comes along, you're going to be the first person that people think about to bring onto it. So for the younger generation, I would say, be careful what you post on social media. If you wouldn't want your mother, father, or potential employer to see it, don't post it because you think it may be deleted, but it can be found sooner or later, and you don't want it to be found by a potential employer or by a current employer that you're looking to get ahead with. Um, to uh, build foundational skills, I think in 2018, Everyone's talking about startups, everyone's talking about entrepreneurialism, which is great, but it's really important coming out of university to invest in learning foundational skills, often uh, best developed in uh, established companies. Um, organization, productivity management, email management, great communication skills. These are skills that you'll need for you know, the eternity of your career and are really important to develop early on. My advice for those starting out in their careers is to be on your toes be willing to embrace complexity, to do a lot of different jobs and to learn a lot of different things. If you are constantly learning, if you are really driven by a clear set of values in terms of the way you want to participate in the world and the kind of world that you want to create, then find jobs and opportunities that align with that about those values, that allow you to participate in making the world a fundamentally more livable, more sustainable, and more inclusive place. For people who are just starting in real estate, I think, again, you really have to put yourself in the shoes of the customer, put yourself in the shoes of the end user, and obsess about understanding how that person sees the real estate decision, obsess about understanding what that person needs in order to you know, go in their journey in life and to drive their vision forward, whether that's as a freelancer or as a consultant or as a, uh, somebody who's starting a company or somebody who's joining a company. That's the way we should all be looking at real estate. And if you do that, you're always kind of coming from the right place.